Okay, so this question, very high yield for your microbiology for USMLE, I'm going to infuse you with an important factoid, okay, very valuable for you, followed by a quick explanation of these microbial processes that are very fucking annoying for you to remember for the exam. I understand that, okay, I'll be concise right now. So we've got carbapenem resistant enterobacter. Enterobacter, a gram negative rod that's not frequently mentioned for USMLE, it can cause uh, respiratory and also uh, urogenital infections. Carbapenems are a class of antibiotics. They're a type of beta-lactam that are notably used last resort because we don't want resistance to them for advanced nosocomial infections when we're trying to target pseudomonas especially. They can also be used for intra-abdominal infections including necrotizing pancreatitis, okay? You do not need to know specific applications of carbapenems like imapenem, meropenem for USMLE. I'm just giving you a little bit of context, okay? So we have a, a loss of antibiotics resistance genes. The question's asking us why. There was some replica, replica plating performed, which just means many generations of uh, bacterial colonies grown. And we look at the answer choices. I'll just tell you straight up. You need to know plasmid loss is our answer. That's your factoid that for USMLE, most of the time, Antibiotics resistance genes are carried on the bacterial plasmid. Okay, that's what USMLE wants you to know. That's a good factoid for you. You say, okay, noted. Antibiotics resistance genes carried on the plasmid. If there's loss of antibiotics resistance, loss of plasmid. Okay, that's your answer. Now I'm going to quickly discuss high yield points for you uh, with respect to some of these other processes. I'm just going to eliminate for you choice A and choice D, so chromosomal alteration and point mutation. Now, those would be on the bacterial chromosomal DNA, okay? Uh, but we just said plasmid is where the antibiotics resistance genes are carried most of the time. So we look at conjugation. This is when two bacterial cells will connect to one another via a pilus structure. And you have an F plus bacterium, which contains a plasmid. You have an F minus bacterium, which does not contain the plasmid. And we have transfer of the plasmid with the antibiotics resistance genes from the F plus to the F minus via the pilus structure. Okay. How have I, how have I seen this asked on NBME material? They're going to tell you a similar type of question. They'll say an investigator uh, is looking to substantiate his uh, conclusion that. Uh, conjugation is how two bacteria are uh, interacting with one another and they'll say which the following best corroborates that finding and the answer will be uh, observation of direct cell to cell contact okay if you have conjugation where you have a pilus structure connecting two bacteria that means there's direct cell to cell contact okay versus some of these other processes so that's how it's asked all right now we look at transduction here. There's generalized and specialized transduction. This involves a phage particle, a viral particle that's going to invade a bacterial cell. Generalized transduction is the phage particle invades the bacterial cell and is merely going to scoop up some of that bacterial DNA and then it's going to lyse the cell. And then now that it's now that it carries the bacterial DNA it can transfer that to another cell, okay? That's generalized transduction. There's no incorporate, in generalized transduction, there's no incorporation of the virus into the bacterial DNA. There's no lysogenic process, okay? In specialized transduction, we do have a lysogenic process. Phage particle, the viral particle enters bacterial cell. We have an incorporation of that viral uh, nucleic acid, usually DNA, into the bacterial DNA. Uh, obviously, if you have RNA, you can have reverse transcriptase, et cetera, but you have uh, incorporation of the viral nucleic acid into the bacterial DNA, and that's called lysogeny. And then at some point in time, they can call it favorable environmental conditions. The viral particle will reemerge from the bacterial DNA with flanking sequences, and it packages that up into a new phage particle, leaves the cell. That's specialized transduction, okay? Just important processes for you to be aware of in addition to conjugation. Now, transformation, this is, this is probably one of the highest yield processes of the ones I'm discussing right now. 
Transformation is when a bacterium acquires antibiotics resistance or uh, other genes directly from the extracellular space. So directly from the agar or directly from the extracellular medium, okay? Without any type of pilus, without any type of phage particle, it's just directly phagocytosis or pinocytosis. There's a process of just acquiring it directly from the outside, from the extracellular space. And the way they're going to ask you this is they'll say that there's bacterial strain A that's grown in the presence of an antibiotic and dies. There's bacterial strain B grown in the presence of antibiotic and dies. They're grown together. A and B, and there's survival. And then they'll say DNA is added to the medium and the colonies die. Okay, so the process is disrupted by DNA, and that makes sense for transformation being the answer because we just said that transformation is when you're acquiring genes directly from the extracellular space. So if you add DNA to the medium, then you're going to disrupt that process. You're going to break down those nucleic acids that are in the extracellular space. That's asked on USMLE really fucking high yield. Okay. You really need to know that. I'll make other questions on that. Don't worry, but I'm just telling you that here for its yieldness. Transposition unrelated. This is just movement. Literally a transposon is movement of a sequence of DNA from one part of the genome to another. Okay. You can literally just have uh, a gigantic sequence, just literally get up and move, be enzymatically uh, transferred across a genome, cis or trans, and be reinserted into another part of the genome, okay? So that's transposition. Students fall for that answer because the, they've heard it before, but they don't know what it is. So in short recapitulation here, you need to know plasmid loss is the answer USMLE wants for how an organism can lose antibiotics resistance. Most, most of the time, antibiotics resistance genes are carried on the bacterial plasmid, okay? That's it. I'll obviously make more content, keep, keep these clips concise. If you liked this, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.